Meghan Markle sparked controversy with remarks she made to the cut, which some critics are interpreting as thinly veiled threats aimed at the royal family. The interview was published at the end of August 2022, just days before the Queen's passing. In it, Meghan discussed her life in California after stepping back from royal duties and disclosed that she hadn't signed a non-disclosure agreement, NDA, that could restrict her from speaking out. She also revealed finding a diary she had maintained during her time as a royal at Frogmore Cottage when she returned for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Roya Nikar, Sunday Times royal editor, analyzed Meghan's revealing comments on True Royalty TV's The Royal Bee. Roya stated, the thinly veiled threats that came in, Meghan's interview with the cut, I think, she, probably hopes it does, feel threatening, to the royal family. But, I think there's a lot of eye-rolling, going, we're used to this by now. But, that phrase, I have a lot to say until I don't and, I've never signed anything that restricts me from talking, there was a very strong inference, and, of course, the reminder that she keeps a journal, and, her, revelation that, when we came back to Windsor, to Frogmore Cottage for the Jubilee, I rediscovered my journal that I'd left there. I was astonished to discover that she had left a highly private diary behind in Windsor, rather than taking it back. Shush has mentioned a couple of times in the last year or two that she kept a journal, and I think there is a very strong inference that Meghan could write her own memoir. Roya further added that she believed Meghan's story about returning to Frogmore Cottage was an excuse to talk about the journal. Most of their belongings were packed up a long time before they even left for Canada and America, so packing up was done, she said. Certainly when Eugenie lived there for a while with her husband and child, they had the run of the house. I think that most of Harry and Meghan's belongings that remained, which weren't many, was stored away. So I don't think she came back and packed up the whole house. I read it as an opportunity for her to mention the gem. Ever since Prince Harry released his bombshell memoir Spare, there's been speculation that Meghan would follow suit and write her own tell-all book. It appears that Prince Harry's scathing criticisms of his royal family members, particularly his father King Charles and brother Prince William, in his memoir Spare, have led to a complete breakdown in communication, reports The Mirror. Reports suggest that Harry's attempts to contact his father through calls and letters are now met with silence, and his efforts to reach out to William via texts, calls, and messages are also being ignored. The rift, which began in 2020 when Harry and his wife stepped back from their royal duties, has been exacerbated by the couple's public attacks on the royal family, including their interview with Oprah, Netflix series, and Harry's memoir. During his recent visit to London for the Well Child Awards, Harry did not meet with Charles or William, and they also did not see each other during his visit to the UK in May for an Invictus Games anniversary service. According to royal expert Ingrid Seward, the constant barrage of criticism from the Sussexes has led William to sever ties with his younger brother. Seward highlighted the importance of stability in William's life, telling the Mirror, William is sensitive, he likes structure and has perseverance. He does not give up easily. His relationship with brother Harry upset him more than he would care to admit but he found it easier to cut ties rather than allow himself to be continually annoyed.